Just a little deep dive I want to do as to where we stand as a brand across the globe. So, you know, we are, aspiration is within the industry. We all want to grow, make big waves. Today, for a mark, as Stephen said, from, you know, just a short span of time, about 10 years, we're present today in 32 countries. We're in 2,500 top retail doors in the world. We, and we have the best jewelry partners across the globe. It's a built on a whole unique business model where it's us as De Beers. We have our own manufacturers that you see all around, people who've been dedicatedly working with us from day one, and the top retailing companies in the world. And we, you know, this journey is, as we said, a very small one, but the leaps that we've made are very substantial. Deeping dive a little bit about what we do from India. From the Indian market or the Indian office, we run the Middle East market. We run Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal, of course, India. A little deep dive in India. We intend to be in 275 doors by end of the year. We have close to 100 partners. We are in 60 cities, and that's interesting. We are a global brand that is not just a brand that exists in the top six metros. A lot of time as I get asked this question that, you know, when are you going to get into tier two? We are in tier four. We are in, in three tier five markets as well. And the resonation that we see from an Indian consumer who could be in a small market, we have a fundamental belief that a consumer in a small market in India is as exposed to a consumer in Delhi or a Bombay or perhaps in New York. And that's what is the power of digital, which Stephen did touch upon. And we believe in it, and that resonates quite well. We intend to end this year at about 275,000 diamonds, touching about 75,000 carats in carotage. That's been our journey here. And just expanding a little more as to what is Forevermark bringing on the table. Stephen did talk about the whole conviction to say that they're natural and they're tracked. We track every single diamond from the mind to the finger. And when our whole intention is that when a consumer looks at a diamond, you know, and that moment when she looks at a diamond reminds her of a beautiful occasion of her life, she looks at it and also feels proud. And that's what we want to enable. These are across every step. We, you know, from the hundreds of thousands of manufacturers who cut and polish jewelry and polish diamonds, we've chosen 42 of the top companies in the world who operate on a very strict criteria of making these diamonds. You might have heard about the concept of four Cs, which is what you know, the whole diamond business gets refers to. We do not select the diamonds just because of four Cs. We select them for beauty. Less than 1% of the diamonds in the world can earn a forever mark inscription. And when a, a forever mark inscription is put on a diamond, we give the 100% guarantee of the entire De Beers integrity that these are the most beautiful diamonds available. And that's the whole in, you know, conviction that we bring it with. And increasingly, consumers get, you know, the meaningfulness of trust is evolving. And that's what the role we're playing around here. On the retail side of it, today, we, you know, we present across, as I said, the, the whole network in 60 cities. Our partners started our brand with one meter or two meters of space. Today, we have 140 shopping shops in which we have a control of over 70,000 square feet across the country. Our stock turns are great. We also start a network of our own exclusive stores, which again, are with the partners. We do have about five exclusive stores as the first phase. We have a first store in Bangalore that we did pretty close from here. We have one in Hyderabad, one in Calcutta, Delhi, Chandigarh. And we intend to be about 10 stores by the end of the year. And also moving to make something called the next gen retail, which we think will redefine the way diamonds get consumed. And when you'll take a walk around, we have a whole virtual reality section to take you inside our store, how the stores will look like, how you can touch and feel diamonds, how you can touch and feel the whole story and the history about diamonds. So all that is there on display. On a design side, what really sells at Forever Mark? So there are a variety of areas that we sell in Forever Mark. So first is the very core classic product where we play the ingredient role. So when a consumer of ours buys a bangle or buys a you know, traditional setting product, we give a guarantee on the every single diamond of those 80 diamonds that she gets. This is an inscription that is invisible to the naked eye. There's a whole inscription card that gives a guarantee. So that's whole you know, conviction to say that when you're buying this whole piece of jewelry, it's backed by our belief and our trust. That's very important. We do a lot of collections which are exclusive to retailers. We do a lot of collections which are with our partners. And every year over the last five years, we've been working on something called our trend collections. This is led by our uh, design team in Milan. They look at not just trends of what's happening in the world of, of jewelry, but what's happening in the world of retail, fashion, design as a whole, and give out projections as to where we think the design is headed. And we've, normally we came out with these four themes, and I'd like to show you a short video that encapsulates where we believe the design for 2019-20 is headed to. So that's just not just design is in isolation. We've done consumer researches around it, and the whole intention to design something, the right story gets translated at the floor, and that's been the attempt here. From a marketing standpoint of view, 
you know, when we started the brand, we used to have two campaigns in a year. Today, we have 365 day always on approach. We have a bouquet of things that we do from a global campaigns representation, Indian campaigns representation, PR releases, lots and lots of events. But we believe and we are fundamentally very clear that if we do something in a city of Bombay, the consumer in Jamshedpur has pretty much no connection with it. And if you have to be successful in Jamshedpur, you got to do stuff there. We do a lot of co-op campaigns with our partners. We do whole and whole lot of events, as I mentioned. Last year, we had over 100 events that we executed, over 100 events across the country, things that matter to consumers in their markets and their stuff. Over 2 billion PR impressions where our heart, where at the center of it were our partners. Lots and lots of stuff in digital, lots of innovative stuff that we're doing along with the teams at YouTube, at Instagram, at other digital platforms. And I, and I encourage when you go around that, the area of the FM zone, you'll get to experience some of it for sure. This year will be our largest campaign, and we're picking up on what we think is the biggest anxiety consumers have around buying diamonds. And they have these questions at times unanswered, questions which lead them to buying different categories. So a campaign on credentials is really focused to say why Forevermark solves all those queries, why Diamond solves all those queries of, you know, you're expressing genuine love. It's going to be our biggest attempt yet, and I'm sure it'll encourage all of you to go into our stores and buy some diamonds as well. We're looking forward to that. And that's the question. So it's basically that's an imagery of how this whole campaign will come around. It's a 360-degree campaign, over 30,000 spots on television, big impacts on ground activities, and we'll see an impact of all of these coming time. I've referred to about the Forever Mark Zone, which is right behind you. Lots and lots of innovations which will get into our retail stores to make a right connection with the millennials and a storytelling in a more modern context. Just to highlight a few there, you know, you'll see, for instance, gamification, which never had, was never there in our stores. We want consumers to come and have fun while knowing about our category. We want them to have social cafes to interact with us on digital. There's lots of things that you see which are new, and please, I encourage everybody to really grasp and understand all the attempts that we're doing here. So just to sum it up, I just can't thank you enough that you guys make all the way from all different places of India to be here. And I'm sure in the next few hours, you'll get more understanding of what our attempts are. And thank you. But I also take this opportunity to thank some of the people who made this event possible. There's a lady called Neyati. She's a caricature artist. And what you see on my both sides is something that, that really happened over here over the last two days. All the elements of what she was able to pick up. She was not somebody from our industry. She picked up what is going on the floor and put it in a context of a caricature. So she's been a very important part of the forum. We have our agency called Blues and Copper, who's put together uh, our back uh, FM zone area. We had Urja Technology. We have BBC, uh, BBC Logistics that has got all these lovely diamonds here and helps on the logistics. A big acknowledgement to the Sheraton Hotel. They've stood behind us and they've sort of made it so simple and easy for us to be here. I'll also acknowledge Indiana Travels, who's got all the logistics of all of us coming here back and forth with the hotel and the flights. A big round of applause to Entertainment Bay, who's our event agency. They've made this entire thing happen. I'd like to give a big round of applause to them. I acknowledge our Milan team, our design team. You'll see some great creations. They've been the people behind it. I also want to acknowledge our senior management colleagues who've come from all different parts of the world to support us here. And you'll, all, all of you will get a chance to engage with them. And of course, every single member of the Forever Mark India team. They've been rock solid. They've been on this job for the last almost five and a half months. Every day we've thought this day to come true and this made it happen. So thank you, the entire team. And again, thanks to all of you to be here. I hope you'll have a great day ahead. Thank you.